the challenge inherent in teaching is basically that you want to give every child 100% of yourself and you can't because you can't split yourself up into 22 individual teachers. We really want to adapt instruction so we're meeting each individual learner's needs. And I think technology can really help with that. We were looking for a product that would be able to give us insight into how our students were learning and what the difficulties they were facing were, and then also giving them some strategies and support, kind of being an extra teacher without having a physical person in the room to really help them out. So this year our school um, is partnered with an ed tech company called Teachly, and they've created three apps, and so that goes across a variety of grade levels. It's interactive. On the teacher end, you have analytics. Meanwhile, the kids are just having fun and playing a game. So in any given class, especially kindergarten, kids come in in a huge range of abilities, and some are readers, and some don't even know their alphabet. So being able to differentiate and meet each kid where they're at really makes teaching and learning so much more fun for everyone involved. It's a one-to-one -one scenario. You have your one device and, and students can make choices about their own learning with that one device. We use it in centers. Three of our centers are iPad app centers and the students rotate from one center to another and then they spend time with me and time in other centers. Anytime you introduce anything to any student, you really have to model, model, model. So when we were first learning about our iPads, we said, oh, this is a really great device that's going to help us. This is how we turn it on. And we went through every step, like, here's the button. Let's, pry, let's try it. And it's so nice to see them having this like, interactive process. And even when you see them engaging with each other and collaborating and solving problems, they're excited to solve problems. <laughs> Now it's starting to click because the app is meeting the kids at the current point in our curriculum. And now it's like, yes, I get to go on it. I'm excited and it's really great to see. All right, so we are going to switch one more time before we get ready for art. Cole's table, come to Christopher's table. Christopher's table, go to Starfall. Were you I on think Starfall it's important already? for teachers to be able to step back and watch the kids and then have the time to process that information with their colleagues because um, that's where we really share ideas and problem solve. So as a group there's six of us that are really you know interested in trying out these new programs and piloting apps. You know we're all pressed for time so when at all possible meeting in person is ideal. It's the best case scenario um, but we've employed a lot of other strategies you know in the absence of that. And so we get together uh, periodically, mostly through email, and we talk about like, this is working, this isn't working, what are the things that we would really like to see? So having a group of teachers try it out with different students at different levels has really made a big difference because we're able to really bounce ideas off of one another, which makes it helpful, and it also builds your morale. I think all of the things that we participate in where we're pushing ourselves and we're building new protocols and we are communicating push us to think differently about our day-to-day -day practices in the classroom. So have you been doing subtractables as well? Yeah, we're doing animal subtractables. There are just so many benefits of having technology that I think bring the world to the kids that they may not be able to experience. You know, I hear them having conversations where they're using their technology vocabulary, or now they've mastered some of the basic skills, so we're able to take things to a higher level. And that gives me a glimmer of like, what could possibly happen when kids have regular instruction in technology and when it's integrated with what they're learning every day. I think all of that contributes to 21st century thinking and doing.